All right, quick breakdown on my small print farm and the gauge pods that I sell. I just have a Prusa Mark III S and then my enclosure. Still need to figure out how I want to do the door set up. So it's just a slit in the top and bottom that it slides into. And I know I need to move the power supply and the board out, but I have the screen out. So it's something. And then the original Ender 3 with the B2 screen, 4.2.7 board. And it's running the polylock bed. Kind of like it, kind of don't, because it's warping on this very end. But it works. Also, it's not as hot as that says. It's just because it's sitting on top of the power supply. But it works. So, obviously, get an order. Have this janky old printer that still works. And then I'll use scraps to make thank you notes for my labels. I just got a Rolo label printer, so hopefully that'll help me out. Um, yeah, and then take the print or just what's over here. And this stuff all needs to be cleaned up and get ready to ship. But usually I'll have all the stuff in here already done. So I'll just take it or gonna clean it up and then have stuff from old uh, Amazon orders or whatever or my grandma gave me a whole bunch of plastic bags so I use those as packing material spray painted logo on the side with a 3d printed stencil so throw that all in the box slap a label on it send it out goes with the hardware and these are for the 99-2000 Civics. So it'll just sit in the top here, bolt into that first slot, and then the stereo can be moved down here to the bottom. And then this is the filament I've been using, the Nova Maker Black ABS. It works, but I don't know if you can see on this, but there's like some stringing going on because this filament does not come dried very well. So usually after a print or two, there's not as much stringing, but I've got to burn up the last of it. And then I'll be changing over to this Matter Hackers ABS. Seems to be printing a lot nicer. Less warping, more resistant to the moisture absorption. And yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, pretty self-explanatory when you're selling stuff. You just make it, pack it, and ship it when you get an order. So I'll sell those gauge pods for the 99 2000 Civic. This one I was just making some slightly oversized uh, than the AMX series gauges, just cause those have a large bezel on them. They don't mount deep, but just to make sure they fit. And then also for testing some other gauge pods I'm working on. These are a lot of the other that I sell. They're three gauge pods. These still need to be cleaned up obviously since they're still out here. Have a good stack of them though. Um, but yeah, I have the three and then two and then a single that is just blocked off. Just like that. And then to put either of these in, see if I can do it one handed. But it just slips the hook 
in on one side and then the other one will pop in. So you just slip that in and then it clips in like that. And then of course, just shove your gauge in there and it's set. So the other thing I'm for a new product I'm working on is the climate control for down here on the 96 through 8 civics so this one's the newest test piece to need to pull that support material off but I've got the shape of it down pretty good now so should be close to ready to have a block off plate and then a gauge pod or you can drill out the block off to make it a switch plate Well, I think that's it for today's video. Just wanted to make a short overview. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions.